Hello again, everybody. This is High Lord Tamerlane with yet another Obscurity in Miniature. Today, we are going to look at another Grim Skull figure. We've got the Greater Good Ronin. So, Greater Good, obviously, very Taoish sounding. Very Tao. Much Tao. Much Greater Good. So, this is a newer figure. Haven't actually seen this guy out in the wild yet, so I figured, you know what? I'll take one for the team. Better yet, I'll take one for myself. A lot of people get confused. Grim Skull, War Games exclusive. They're basically the same thing. It even says Grim Skull, but I always go to War Games exclusive. That's where I got mine. I know there's a couple people that distribute these guys now in the U.S., so, you know, keep an eye out for them. Or you can always support the company directly, because why not? They make cool stuff. Let us see what we got here. So, obviously, we've got the base. Fancy Pants logo on that. One nice thing I've noticed, as I've mentioned in a couple other videos, you can see, if it's in focus as best as I can, you can kind of get a good look at where the figure is actually supposed to sit on the base. I like that, rather than just making me figure that out. Because I'm not good at it. We've got the actual main body itself, nicely cast. He is kind of portly for a Taoish person who follows the way of the greater good. That armor doesn't fit there, buddy. So we'll have to snip those off. But you can tell, I mean, it's very Taoish. I don't know how else to say it. We've got a spot for his backpack, and his backpack's pretty cool. So he's got a variety of greater good guns that he's carrying with him. Nicely sculpted again. A little bit of flash between the bare uh, stalks there, but we can clean that out. I'm not sure which direction it's supposed to go. Like that, maybe? Like that, maybe? Like this, maybe? I'm just talking to myself here. I think it goes like that. When it's in focus, right? And let's see. So one arm has a sword. And the other arm has nothing. What goes? Oh, silly me. That's right. He's got a cane. He's got himself a walking stick. So I'm assuming that goes like that. That's kind of cool. And a random piece. Oh, it's an antenna. See? Even though it doesn't want to be seen. Antenna probably either goes on the hat or the backpack, and yeah, it's the hat. So here is our greater good Ronin friend in the flesh, if we can get him in focus. Thank you, thank you very much. I love the conical, uh, I don't know if conical is even the right word, rice field hat. I don't know how else to explain it, but it looks like a towel drone, kind of, if you think about it. So... I am going to attempt to put this dude together and see how he stacks up compared to some of the other stuff I have. I should have some other Grim Skull figures laying around because I know I still own some. Sadly, I used to have just about every single Tau figure they made right before Kill Team released and then I ended up trading them all off. And now I regret it immensely. So he is the first of hopefully a few more Tau to show up again. So let me see what he looks like all put together. All right, so we've got our Ronin built. That's not him. That's just a regular Tau fire warrior. Breacher. He's a breacher. So here is our Ronin. Mm, as you can see, he's a little bit bigger. Actually, quite a lot bigger. But then again, I have that issue with the GW fire warriors, I think, being a little on the dinky side. So as you can see, his backpack is going to take up a lot of real estate as well. I'm going to keep that separate just because it's it's big and full of guns. And it's going to be a real pain trying to glue that all together. Not glue, paint. Paint that all together if it's stuck on him. So for the time being, that's not going to get glued. So overall, I think, you know what, after saying that, oh yeah, he's got a spot to mark the base. No, he didn't. Hey, and you can see there's super glue all over the base now. 
I had a hard time trying to figure out exactly where to put that. So he's got the kind of mechanical arm. I don't know if that's supposed to be a prosthetic, cybernetics, or if he's wearing armor, because his other arm is obviously unarmored. I wish I had some other tell. You know what? I think I have a Fire Warrior... Is that what they're called? I got one of the plastic dudes with the sword. I'll have to get him out and bust him out and see how he compares. So... Here he is with a GW Space Marine hanging out. So he's a lot more in scale with a good old fashioned Marine. And I grabbed some of my other War Games exclusive figures because they do tend to err a bit on the taller side. Here is the Chaos Lord who has been painted. I think he showed up here in one of my very first videos, but he's done for the most part. Probably needs a better matte wash, but whatever. Just to give you guys a sense of scale. <clears throat> it's interesting because this figure is also about double the price of this one. And there's not a huge size discrepancy there, is there? So just be aware of that. I mean, I guess he does take up a lot more base real estate. He's big and he did have an optional arm. And with a more... Regular sized War Games exclusive figure. This is their. Obviously, it's supposed to be Cypher. I don't forget what they're calling her, but I really like this figure too. I don't know if I've ever shown this off anywhere. I thought about doing a miniature of the moment thing on her because she's a cool figure. Maybe I will one of these days, but anyway. She's on a little bit larger base. One thing is, there's no real base cohesion, at least in terms of size, with the Grim Skull how figures I've built quite a few of them now and I can tell you there are all kinds of base sizes so my initial thought is this dude is perfect for kill team but then I thought what in the world am I going to use him for you know uh, he has a lot of guns but he's not actually using any he's got this staff but he doesn't look like any kind of a water cast was it water ethereal ethereal cast it doesn't look like any kind of a psychic type so, I don't know what to do with him. If you guys have any suggestions on what I can use this dude for in Kill Team, by all means, offer those suggestions as quick as you can, because I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I'm probably going to paint him up as whichever sept this is supposed to be. I can't remember the name of it, but he will be in matching colors. So you might have seen some of my other towns, at least on Daka Daka, and they were in a much lighter paint scheme. So I'm going to hopefully keep this dude in this darker scheme. With that said, I am going to go rush off and hopefully get this guy primed while the massive rain that we get once a year in Southern California has stopped. So I am going to say my goodbyes and hopefully if you can hit that like or that subscribe button and justify me doing this and keep my wife off my tail, that would be awesome. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with another obscurity in miniatures saying, bye bye.